Good morning everyone. You join us on our second vlog of Spain and we are at Port Aventura. Just arrived, it's very, very hot oh and sweaty. Goodness, it's so hot. We biked from our campsite, uh, Siesta Salu. Uh, it's about what, five, ten minute yeah. bike ride, really good. Left the bikes at the locker room. Yeah. It's uh, one bike per locker, so six euros each, so it's about 24 euros. Yeah, it's quite expensive. It's quite expensive, but, but it's secure, which and is really good. They did give us the option to just leave them like in the parking lot, but obviously they, anyone it's, could take it's them. not secure. And the, the park is open until 11 tonight, yeah. so we thought actually it's best to have them locked up securely. Um, it's super hot, mandatory masks, so we're, um, we're all prepared for that, but um, it is super sweaty, so we'll see how we go. Uh, but the girls are really keen to get stuck in, um, so we're going to go and do our first round. First ride in Puerto Ventura. Yeah, it's called the Tiki Tidal Wave, we think. We've yeah, seen a lot of people get off and they're really, really wet. Quite hopeful that we'll get quite drenched. It is super hot here. It's like Florida weather. It's really humid. It's about 31 degrees, so we're all feeding it a bit. That was great fun. We're very wet. Very wet. Nice and refreshed. Unfortunately, you can't film on there, which is really annoying because it was really, really cool. But uh, yeah, really, really good. Nice and refreshed. So, but very refreshed. Now we need to go and dry out. It's basically Toy Story Mania for Sesame Street in Spanish and you're shooting cookies. Really, yeah, really good. Yeah, but it's a little bit more than that actually because in the middle, there's a middle section. Oh, sorry, this thing. Middle section as you go through. It gets really rough. Um, it's well, like it kind of goes through like Count Dracula's uh, yeah, castle. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you kind of have like a, it's like a, it's not a roller coaster, but it feels like it. It's like a, you know. For like, the experience. Yeah, and it's, it's really cool actually. Really yeah, good. really, really good with the kids. Yeah, and you can sell cookies all the way through. And I won. Woohoo! Show it was completely bonkers. bananas. Bonkers. Don't know what was going on, but, but the it was girls good fun. Loved it. It was it was good. It was really good fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was crazy, <laughs> but um, really, it was a very entertaining show. I think it's great for kids, but there is like a bit of like spring and like sprinklers and fire and the, uh, and some the, fire, yeah, some fire and it's a bit like a bit like more of like a fighting show than like a cowboy. Yes. yes. It is, definitely.
are very wet. We've just come off the log flume and we are soaked, absolutely drenched. And now we've got to go for dinner, so this will be fun. Yeah, it's, um, I think log flumes are a funny thing, like sometimes you don't actually get that wet, it's just a bit of a spray, but this is a full on soaking, so uh, come prepared. Yes. Get a poncho if it's not very warm, you'll need it. <laughs> The end of our day at Porta Ventura. It's been good. Karina, what's your what's your thoughts? Yeah, we've had a really fun day. Um, we've, the kids have really enjoyed it. It has been so hot. Um, definitely, I have to say, as the sun's gone down, it's become more manageable. But all in all, it's it's been a really really good day. The kids have had a whale every time. Good morning, everyone. So today we are heading to the Porta Ventura water park. Not sure what it's like, don't know much about it at all, don't even know what rides they've got there, but uh, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. People on the campsite are also having a lot of fun playing their card games. So uh, another beautiful day in Spain. Eden, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'm looking forward to... Probably all of it, I should imagine. Yeah, yeah. the water rides. And I'm very ready for a cool off because I'm very hot. It's yeah. very hot, it gets very hot very quickly, doesn't it? And we it decided not to because we were going to walk, but we decided not to because it's a bit too hot. So we're going to yeah. bike right Yeah, Probably yeah. bike. Not sure how much footage I'll be able to get on the GoPro, but hopefully we'll be able to get some really cool stuff going down, some slides and that. But I know yesterday they were really kind of strict on not having GoPros or selfie sticks on any of the rides. So uh, fingers crossed we'll be able to get some more footage today when we're in the water park. P, what are you looking forward to? Um... We are no longer in Salou, we are now in uh, Camping Barcelona, so just outside of Barcelona on the coast. Mm. We basically completely forgot to do a uh, review, our thoughts on uh, Porta Ventura. Ventura. So we thought we'd do that now quickly for you. And also to be perfectly honest. It's been so hot. It's been so hot and, and actually where we are now, because we're literally right on the coast, you might be able to see the sea behind us. It's so much cooler. We've got yeah. this lovely breeze that's coming in off of the sea and it's just, like a thousand percent more bearable. So what did we what think. did we think? Yeah. Uh, first of all, it cost us about three hundred and twenty five pound. So that was for a three day ticket. So that got us to Puerto Ventura for two days, mm. or we could have a day in Puerto Ventura, a day in Ferrari Land, and we also had a day's access to the water park, which is called Puerto Ventura Carib. It also including that was Max Fun Express passes for Porta Ventura, and that only included certain rides. That's yeah. basically a fast pass for Porta Ventura on certain roller coasters and kind of rides within Porta Ventura. Being that we were here in high season, um, we kind of felt that we would need them, and we were absolutely right. You yeah. really do need them. Yeah. Um, so. To give um, you guys a bit of background, we've um, been lucky enough to, we've done um, Disney in Florida a few times and we love it. And I think in many ways we've kind of been spoiled mm -hmm. because we've done that. And so you're kind of, it's, it's hard, it's human nature, it's difficult to not constantly compare. We had a great time, you know, as a family, we had a really great time and the it kids was all loved fun. It. But there were a few things that niggled um, that we thought we'd share with you guys just so that, you know, it might just be helpful it might be helpful if you're planning your trip so, so a few things i want to mention before i forget because i will forget <laughs> firstly 
uh, there's not much shade in the park. Yeah. And it's, Given you know, it's that, 30 degrees every day. And I think that's, again, it's a landscaping thing. So again, you know, I mean, having been, having been to Florida and done that a few times, you know, that is obviously a hot place, a sunny hot place, as is Spain, as is where we are now. Um, but the difference is that there just seems to be a lot more thought put into the Disney parks um, in terms of the landscaping and um, how the shade is kind of inbuilt mm. into the theming around the park. Um, I think my expectations were relatively high given that at some point along the line in my knowledge, my understanding was that the Porto Ventura Park was actually owned, I don't know if it still is, but at some stage I know it was owned by Universal. So my expectations were relatively high having done the Florida parks. And I think in terms of the theming of the park, it is up there. I mean, it looks great. Uh, it does look good, but there's a layout issue and a, and a fundamental flaw, I think, in terms of the amount of shade in that there just mm. isn't any. It's quite similar. It was actually one of the kids that said it was quite similar to Epcot, actually, in that it's basically different kind of countries, effectively, that you go around other different lands. And in Polynesia, mm. The landscaping was perfect because it was very yep. leafy, there was trees, it, you felt shaded, you felt like you could move about and not have the intensity of the sun on you the whole time. I have to say pretty much everywhere else though, that wasn't the case. Yeah. Um, and I think another thing that highlights that is that when you go to places like e even Epcot for example, there are shortcuts. Yeah. You can get from one land to another without having to walk around the entire park they don't have that no. so if you want to go it's from it's a kind of one way route yeah mediterranean all the way around to you know i don't know china you have to walk through all the other areas yeah. and when there's no shade and there's crowds of people that's a slog it was intense the, the rides were good the rides we went on were, yeah, they were cool they were good yeah they were good rides i really particularly the uh, sesame street, the sesame street ride. i was, that was wicked i absolutely loved it and it really did feel like something the quality yeah. of something that you would get in disney the lands were really good the wild west land was really cool yep. food in the theme parks is pretty much standard theme standard same you get any and anywhere really and expensive it is very expensive for what be. you get the service is really quick i would say almost worryingly too quick <laughs> <laughs> yeah you literally order and then it's out there with you mm. so it's probably just you know just cling filmed and, by, and sat ready to wait, go. waiting to be to be served um, up um would i say it's worth the money i think that's the fundamental question that is three days so it's what you know 107 pound a day or something isn't yeah. it it's not too for a family of four what do we think i do you know i'm not sure i would i think it's a little on the pricey side for for what it is i think it's good do you though yeah do mm. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. Considering how much you pay to get into Portland's Park within yeah, the UK. I know, but I think that's expensive. I think yeah. that's, I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, yeah. is it comparable? Yes, it probably is. Do I think it's expensive? Yes, I probably do. Mm. Um, I mean, you know. I think it's average, isn't it? It's, it's theme average. Park prices. Yeah, it's average, yeah. to be fair. To be fair to it, it's They're average. They're all overpriced. I mean, that's the thing, like, to crack on because the sun is going down and we're probably looking very fuzzy right now <laughs> so let's move on we didn't do uh Friary land because the kids are too young well they're not too young to go in but there's just not much there for but them it just wouldn't have appealed but uh, we did do the water park we did the water park yep. i'm not a fan of water parks anyway mm. but i thought it was all right uh a few things that kind of got on my nerves it's very very whistleblowy <laughs> they're very big on their rules <laughs> we did have fun but they're very strict on the amount of fun you can have <laughs> For example, measured fun. Measured fun. <laughs> fun, fun with rules. Uh, we tried to take a selfie with the GoPro in the water. We had a guy tell us off. Not sure why. Uh, you're supposed to wear your mask to queue to go on the log flumes and the rides, but when you're on the rides, yeah, you can I mean, take that, your mask off. That I mean, was the thing. that's I think, crazy. And there is literally masks floating around everywhere. I think you know. Generally, again, the kids absolutely loved it. They would have stayed forever given the chance mm. you know we literally had to pull them away because you know the kid that ivy was starting to get a bit pink on the shoulders in fact we had to buy her a rash vest to cover her and that was quite reasonably priced actually i think it was like 14 euros for a kid's rash vest yeah which isn't too bad no and I particularly that given okay. that in those sorts of settings you're, you're literally you're, that's it you're you, a captive audience yeah. aren't you so generally you know you would expect to pay through the nose for that sort of thing and that's the other thing to mention good. you're not allowed picnics you can't bring your own food yeah. in you're at the mercy of their food stands which again picnics puts are the price forbidden. up 
there's lots of signs saying no picnics anywhere. We snuck yeah. in a bag of crisps, but that was literally about it. Yeah, uh, and you and your bags are checked before yeah. you go in, so yeah. you know there's no kind of really getting away with it either. Um, and you know unless you bury it beneath towels and then you've got squash sandwiches. The, the mask policy again, you know, being that it's COVID times, we knew we knew what we're getting into. So I'm certainly not complaining, yeah. but it's just worth bearing in mind the the practicalities of what that means mm. when you're here, because. Um, you know, it is awkward. You're at a water park, you know, so you're going in and out of water based activities, be it a pool or a log flume or, you know, a water slide or whatever it might be. And so you don't actually, you haven't got a bag to put your mask in. No. And then when you're done, you're then like left with a wet mask. You've then got to put back on your face, which is just grim. So it's all a bit odd. And I understand why they're enforcing the mask policy for when people are moving about. But because, you know, unless you're constantly gonna, every single time you wanna do something, which, you know, this is the thing, when you've got children and they, they see something and they're like, oh, let's go and do that. They wanna go and do that. They don't wanna yeah. then have to go back to where you've left yeah. your mask, pick it up, then come back. You know, it's just, it adds a and whole other thing. And there, there were occasions when you're in some of the pools that the lifeguards were telling people to take their masks off. Yeah. I also saw one guy in a pool who yeah. had a hat on. He just had a baseball cap on. They told him to take the baseball cap off in the pool. Yeah. And it, but it's equally, just... But equally on the flip side of it, you know, people were queuing, queuing for things and they didn't have a mask and, and they were told, were told to, to leave. leave the queue because you didn't have a mask. So, you know, I get it, I totally get it, I understand the policy and they're very, very, you know, stringent in enforcing that and I think in many ways I think that's a good thing, but the practicalities of being in that sort of environment with kids, it's tricky, you know, it's tricky to balance what they want to do and keep it fun and keep yeah. it moving, whilst at the same time, you know, having to kind of do the whole mask thing and where do you leave it, what do you do with it? It's it's a ba it's an awkward thing. Theming, the theme theming was really good. Um, Lots of stuff to do. It was great. Food was, was okay. Loads of stuff to do. Forty five euros for four slices of pizza. Probably not the greatest thing, but we, you, you've, Again, you've got no choice. You've, you've got no choice it's, there as it well. It is what it is. You're staying there for the full day, which the kids wanted to. You've, yeah. you've got to buy their food because you can't bring anything else in. But you know what? I have to say, in this heat, um, it was nice to be able to spend the whole day. Cool. Oh my goodness! Off, in this heat you really can't go wrong you just cannot go wrong the kids were happy as larry they absolutely loved it um you know and obviously happy kids happy parents um i i preferred that day i just found it a lot you know the intensity of the day before walking around in that kind of heat without any shade um versus being in a pool with children splashing and having fun it was no contest for me so we're going to leave it there because this has gone on for 15 minutes already and rambling if about you've, if you've managed to stay to the bitter <laughs> thank end you. thank you so much <laughs> but you've done well to stick with us so thank you for watching i hope this video has been useful to someone who's thinking going to port ventura yeah uh, if you're in the area and you know you've got some you know you've got the time and you've got a bit of money then you know maybe give go it for well. it give it yeah. a whirl but it well. i certainly wouldn't come to spain to do Puerto Ventura. No. save your pennies go to florida yeah. trust me you'll have a better time <laughs> uh, but that's the end of this vlog uh please like and subscribe uh we're about to go to barcelona tomorrow which is exciting so keep on out for that video we'll do a whole video on barcelona we've also got some uh my fold chairs to yeah. try out as well they're tiny booster seats which are crazy we got gifted them by my fault so uh we're going to try Give them out tomorrow some on uh, some taxis, taxis. yeah but uh thanks for watching and we'll see you guys again soon take care bye, bye.